What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today is going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to create this vertical Instagram story video where you kind of blur the background, kind of like Nino Lander's stories. So let's get started with the tutorial and we're going to be doing this in Premiere Pro. Okay, so let's just make a new sequence. So I'm going to go up to file and then press new sequence. And so we're going to go to settings and then we're going to create a custom editing mode. So we're going to change the frame size to 10. 1080 by 1920 and then we're going to change the pixel aspect ratio to square pixels and the fields to no fields and then you can change your time base to whatever frame rate you had mine was 30 frames per second and then make sure all the rest of your settings look like this it probably does and then change your sequence name and then now you have your vertical video so now what you're going to do is just bring in your Instagram edit that you made. So what I usually do is just export my Instagram video and then I just bring it in. Okay, so then you're just going to scale it so that it fits the whole frame. But sometimes I like to actually go a little bit less than the whole frame. So around like 150 because on Instagram it already scales it in. It doesn't go all the way to the full size. For Instagram stories, it works to have this whole clip, but when you're posting to Instagram just as a post, uh, sometimes I like to scale it down to 150 because Instagram crops it in a little bit more. So that's good to remember. Okay, so I'm just gonna reset that. And then what I'm gonna do is I have it on my second video line. So I'm gonna hold Alt and bring another one to my first video line. So we have two copies of it. Now for the clip on the bottom, I'm gonna scale it all the way up so it takes up the full video and then I'm going to go to effects and put on fast blur and then you can change the blurriness to whatever you want. I'm going to about 37 and press that box that says repeat edge pixels. And then I'm just going to bring the clip on my second video line to around 58 so that you could see the whole clip. And now you have what Nino Langer likes to use in his video. Oh, Nino Langer, that's his name. I still am so used to saying Langer. Okay, so now let's export our video. So what I like to do is keep my format at H.264 and I like to keep the preset at match source high bitrate. And then yeah, it's ready for Instagram. So I just airdrop it to my phone and I'm good to go. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave comments for new tutorial requests and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.